We're really happy for us. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is illegal because it does say no cameras in here. Not had any champagne, not drunk, feel so much better. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the outfit. Wearing a little white fox dress and then just some little heels. And I don't know, I've just put his black back with it because I've not got anything else. We're going for dinner. Let's go. Let's go. Finally out. We're out in Palmer, baby. I've got really bad stomach ache. I don't know what is going on. Anyway, we've just been to the test kitchen tonight. So, thoughts and reviews. Test kitchen is basically like a Michelin star restaurant, but it has it's all like a bit quite of more of a unique, bit of a quiet taste. Yeah. Like one of the desserts was a blue cheese ice cream. No, like a. Um, Oh, I said no. Yeah, no. It was like an ice cream. It was frozen. Uh, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it, like it was odd. I literally had one bite and was like, I genuinely can't. I can eat see that. why people rave about it, but yeah. I just don't think it's us. No. It's a couple of a couple of things were nice. I feel like if you're really into Michelin star and like trying different things, you'd like it. Oh, we're on. Only me and Mitchell would walk all the way from the port into Parma. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was just funny because everyone was like jumping in a taxi and we was like, oh, I was walk. It's a good type of walk, isn't it? No, to be fair, we've been on the boat all day, so it is nice to have a walk. And it was an easy walk as well on the Parma. It was a lovely it? walk. Well, just past all the boats. It was a lovely walk. But yeah, so pretty around here. Let me just turn around. Top pass. I can't really see how pretty it is. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is illegal because it does say no cameras in here. But we're basically at, what's this place called, babe? A, a backup? I asked on Instagram where to come in Palma, there's a nice bar and so many of you said this one, like really popular. I can see why it's definitely like unique, beautiful. it's unique inside, it's got like classical music playing in the background, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> we didn't even look at the menu and see how much everything was. Yeah, nice. no, it's not that bad. It's 32 euros for two sandwiches, but look at the size of the glass, it's a big glass and I, like I said to you, it's the same price as what a cocktail would be. The fancy would be right <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Is it strong? No. That's lovely. But yeah, it is beautiful in there, isn't it? Show them the little corner. I feel like it looks even better in the daytime. Do you like in the daytime TikToks that I saw? Obviously, it's stunning at night. But we were so lucky to get a seat as well, weren't we? We pushed the front of not posh, but they were they were dawdling. And yeah, there was, this, there, well, there was this couple, and they were literally dawdling at the front door when we even got to the front door. And we was like, do we go? Like, no one had come to the door. So in the end, we walked in. And again, once we got to the front door, I think they were waiting for someone to come up to them, and they were just dawdling. And then everyone was like pushing in past. So we was like, let's just walk up, and it, it's clearly not like a service yeah. at the door. Um, and then, yeah, we came out here. And again, they were dawdling at the door, they weren't doing anything, they weren't being forward, so we just went and sat down and got a table. Look at that, it's absolutely rammed out. Yeah, it was the last table. Like, people ain't moving quick either, are they? No. Okay, it is 0038, otherwise known as 1238, and <laughs> we're back in the room because Mitchell's a pussy. No, it's one o'clock. Yeah, I was ready to like party the night away. I'm engaged. 
Look, I wanted to do engagement celebrations. My little silver dress to do engagement celebrations, but Mitchell over here couldn't handle his drink. I, and I think he's got triple he's got trifleitis again. So I don't feel well. So yeah, basically. I think I could be sick too. I was basically prepared to stay out in Palmer and have a few drinks, get some nice photos, celebrate the engagement. But Mitchell over here has got trifleitis. What? We're celebrating our beautiful. Okay. Anyway, we are back. And to be fair, it's not a bad thing because we have got the Scarlet Night tomorrow, mm. which we're probably going to be out Scarlet late too. But it's funny because like, we've met a couple of like American people here and I feel like they love partying. Mm. And the American couple that we've met in particular, they're out till like 3 o'clock every night and they're probably 20 years older than us each. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, in here's us in bed at... No, yeah, but they don't get up till like one twelve in the morning. Like I like to meet and get up oh, early. Look, why are you tasting every day? Yeah, about eleven. Yeah. Was it? Anyway, we've just been to the pizza place. So this place is open until two o'clock in the morning. So I mean, if you're gonna do an all night, so probably go before, get your pizza, put it in your room, and then you can have cold pizza when you get in. Ooh. Good shot, isn't it? It's like a little bit burnt then. No, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry because when, like I say, we went to the test kitchen, didn't love it, didn't really eat a lot. Mitch over here. I just feel weird. Got your fly to. So yeah. well, I did have anyway. two pizzas. Today? Lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah you two did. Two slices. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat my pepperoni and pizza. Ice cream. Oh, yeah, so you did. So I am El Stuffio. No, I had a peggy bowl. What? Peggy bowl. Oh, yeah. To be fair, I haven't ate a lot today. You didn't eat a lot. No, I've not ate a lot though. I had that poke bowl. I didn't really eat breakfast, and then I didn't, eat, far, yeah, didn't eat dinner. So I've not. I'm gonna enjoy this now, I guys. Then like, bye bye. Good morning, guys. I have just popped back to the room, which was actually down at breakfast at the moment, and I just realised I didn't actually intro the vlog this morning. Obviously, he's not with me and not rushing me. I thought I'd intro the vlog, so it is our first full day in Palma, Mallorca today. We actually, as you'll have saw, did go out last night, um, ended up on such a walking mission that it just me and Mitchell all over. But you know what? We love walking because you just see and explore a lot more than when you get a taxi. I mean, nothing to do with the fact that we haven't drawn any money out. But yeah, we ended ended up walking from the port all the way, I feel like near the kind of, is it the Castle Cathedral? Anyway, the main Palmer bit, went for a really nice drink there. I say really nice, but we weren't that impressed with the sangria to be honest with you, just because we just like the like Don San, what is that make of sangria? It's like Don San, you know, so I don't know. But anyway, we love that sangria. And this just tasted a little bit more like posh and, I don't know, but it was a bit sour um but anyway we had a really really nice evening in this bar it was unreal just very like oldie worldy typical spanish nothing i've really ever been to before so yeah let me just open here because it's hot in this room oh, I say hot it's probably even hot out here actually it's a bit noisy let me shut that so yeah we had a really nice evening and then as we walked on back we found an irish bar there was loads of bars actually on the right hand side as we was walking back um but mitchell was feeling a bit sick i don't really know why over full all the concoction of like weird food we'd had at the restaurant before i don't know so we just ended up going for one drink at an irish bar i had some sangria there which was so good and then yeah come back and i was hungry because obviously we'd been to the test kitchen which like i say is more like an ali carti ali carti it's just posh michelin star kind of food and i didn't really eat a lot i'm not gonna lie it just wasn't really me so yeah i ended up getting a pepperoni pizza because the pizza place on board is actually open until 2 a.m which is unreal and the pepperoni pizza was spot on so yeah i did that i also popped on 13 good on 13 bed because you can literally watch so many films in your room and it's so yeah it's so good but but yeah, today we're going to head into Palma, I think. Just have a mute, have an explore. Mitchell's never been here before. I've been here once years ago. Um, so yeah, I can't really remember too much. I only came for a day trip from, I think I was staying in Palma Nova or something at the time. But yeah, it's beautiful. We've just actually grabbed an iced coffee as well. Oh my God, the iced coffee's here. You do have to pay for them. They're not on like your soft drinks, all-inclusive tab. But so good and yeah as there's no yorkshire tea around in the morning you guys know how much i love yorkshire tea i need to have something so iced coffee is definitely hitting the spot anyway day two of being engaged i've still not announced it on instagram yet we're gonna get some like cute photos today i think and then yeah do you know what i'm just like enjoying actually not everyone knowing and just being in a little bubble and yeah do you know what i mean i don't just want to like rush it and put it out on instagram let me just like why have you not posted yet i'm like i'm just enjoying it like just me and you and then then i'll tell everyone but yeah also just a quick outfit of the day 
this holiday I've been so prepared for. I'm just trying to like recycle my wardrobe and not buy new things. So yeah, these are all things I've took on holidays previous and just kind of tuned differently. But this is what a capsule wardrobe is, guys. You know I'm really trying to be more capsule wardrobe going forward, so... Yeah, I love this, how I've just put this together. It's actually a Primark skirt and then sort of a little waistcoat, Birkenstocks, and then just this bag just to kind of contrast it up. No sé lo que me está pasando Siento que alguien me está llamando Ella es mi motivation Corre base en mi mente como vapor Baby, yo te soy fiel como Jacob Dígame yes Baby, don't say no Imaginando hey -oh. Tu boquita en la mía Baby, sería un sueño You know Pero si fuera real, mi amor Imaginando hey -oh. Tu boquita en la mía Baby, sería un sueño You know Pero si fuera real, mi amor Ship now. It was a very hot day in Palm, wasn't it? We've done some steps. We've done steps again. I mean, I forgot to wear my watch, so I don't actually know how many, but. Was it really? Jeez. We didn't even get the taxi again, guys. We literally walked from the port all the way around to the, like, cathedral area, wasn't it? And we did some walking. We had to go on another beard one for Mitchell. Mitchell over is. I had another beard. Cut. That's true. That's good, though. Better than last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Throwing that in it. That's what it is. Yeah, he has done. Really, he has done a really good job of your beard, to be fair. So yeah, went for went for a beard cut in parlor, as you do. Um, just moved around really. Just sightseeing. Yeah. I mean, I know some people just like head to the beach and do things like that. We just walk around. Beach. The beaches, nice. Nah, nice. Nah. So we just kind of walked around, just had a little mooch. Um, did a little bit of like window shopping. Went in a couple of shops. Stopped off for a little drink um, on the harbour, didn't we? Yeah, that's nice. Um, and yeah, then we got back. It was a hot day, to be honest with you. Really, really hot. To be doing, well, I say doing too much walking. That's all we've actually done. But anyway, we had to get back on the ship for. I think it. Four it said four o'clock, didn't it? What's the time now? It's five o'clock. We haven't actually left yet. I'm not too sure what time we're departing, but we're not getting to Ibiza. We're not going to that kind of speed. We're not getting to Ibiza until tomorrow evening, are we? Tomorrow Which. Like you say, I thought they were quite close. So I don't really know. But yeah, I think so. We've got a bit of a sale day again. It'd be nice to get there tomorrow morning. Yeah, and have two days. Obviously, it must take a while. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll be it. Oh, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> thank you very much. Do you want anything else? Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. So yeah, anyway, not getting to my booth till tomorrow night. Got a bit of a sale day. Probably head to the rooftop beach bar, not beach bar, pool bar. Well, yeah. no, not the main pool bar. I'm a bit out of the way and we'll go tomorrow. Scarlet night tonight as well, isn't it? So. Yeah, so it's red night tonight. So I've got a red dress to wear. Mitchell's got a red top. I feel like this is going to be the first night we're actually out out. Um, I've heard there's a nightclub on board, so I think we might end up there tonight. What are you saying? And also, with it being a sale, and also with it being a sale day tomorrow, that means we can actually stay out. Like normally, me and Mitchell, we only want to stay out to like two, three in the morning because we're conscious that like if we get into a destination, we want to get up and actually go out rather than like sleep in. Like quite a lot of people go out to like three or four in the morning and then they sleep into like 11, 12 o'clock and then miss the day. We're just not them kind of people to be honest with you. So yeah. If you've done that today, you wouldn't have even gone into Minogue. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So we just prefer to um, go and mooch, get out of and about, be fresh. But yeah, tonight we might have a blowout. We might have a blowout tonight. What do you think? <laughs> the world is our oyster. Anyway, I just ordered from this little messy thing. So I we we are a big fan of this kind of little bar area. It's just really cute. And if we go outside, I mean it's absolutely rammed outside. But outside is like the back of the ship, really cute. 
nice area, isn't it? The dock house, yeah, it's called. Is that what it's called, dock house? So we, yeah, we couldn't find a seat out there, so we just thought we'd come in here instead, which, as you can see, it's still really cute. It's a nice day bed. Day bed, well, it's not a day bed, but we did get on that bed last night, didn't we, in there? It was so comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, basically, between half four and six thirty every single day, they do this little kind of like Greek tapas -y out couple of hours. So Mitchell here has already had his 100th burger of the holiday, but I just thought I'd go for the meze platter. Not been too much, you know, it does a bit of a light bite. <laughs> but. <I'm awesome. laughs> oh. We'll be a light bite and then Mitchell over here is having some. Anyway, over and out. Ciao. Happy holidays. I'm engaged. Okay, here's the meze platter, guys. How nice this look. So we've got hummus, tzatziki. I think it's like a red pepper dip. Mm. Some veggies and some pinna bread. I'm gonna enjoy this. Yum yum. Oi oi, sailor. Good evening. Oi oi, Captain. Oi oi. Um, just for, I don't know, do you know what? People can probably hear us at the back and they're like, what are them there doing? Um, just thought I'd check in on the vlog. It is Scarlet Night tonight on Virgin Voyage. So you actually get like a memo when you book the cruise to tell you like if there's anything going on. So you can obviously bring, um, you know, the right attire. So Mitchell had to, my mate Mitchell here had to go out in a get a red t shirt. Never represent. Wore red, never wore red in my life. <laughs> actually, it really looks nice on you. Do you like it? Like, would you wear that again, babe? I don't know. I think it looks nice. Like, I actually think it suits you. You look hot. Do you look um, too? And I've got a red dress on from White Fox Boutique. So, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. I think it's a bit of a party up up, up there somewhere, is it's it? It's somewhere, isn't it? Let's go get a drink. So, yeah, me and Mitchell don't really know what we're doing. We've not even had food tonight. You've already had a burger, so you're quite full, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to have to eat something, because if we're drinking, then... Do you know what I mean? I don't want to get yeah, too we'll drunk. have a look. So yeah, anyway, just thought I'd check in, take you to the party. If I don't I'm... know what we're going to expect. It looks a bit wild though. <laughs> it does look wild. Is it around the pool? I think the main part is around the pool later on and it's like half ten till midnight. Oh. And there's an after party. Okay, so it could be a messy one tonight, but it's all good because we have a sure, sale day, day until later on this evening, in the evening tomorrow, and then we're in Ibiza, then we're going to go and party, we're going to go David Guetta. No, we're probably not going to go. I think we're just going to go for a Chinese, to be honest with you. Uh, do you know what? If it, if it was at Ushuaia, I said this before, but if David Guetta had been at Ushuaia, I'd be there like that. But hi, oh, I've been to space when it was space, and I know how, like, jump at these events get. And I know Mitchell, he's not going to like it. So, yeah, it's just going to be waiting. Can do it again another year. Yeah. He's getting on a bit, though. Old David, though, isn't he? Before you met me. <laughs> right, anyway, ah. ciao. We need to go. We've also just announced our engagement on Instagram. Honestly, like, I've been put not putting it off, but um, obviously wanted just to enjoy the moment anyway. But also, it was a bit like, well, I don't know. I don't know, like I have just been like, what, what do I post? It felt like a big moment, so... It's also I think I was, day, isn't it? Yeah, I think I was like overthinking it, and then I just said to Mitchell, do I just upload the video? <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't really that hard at the end, but um, I kind of did make a bit of a meal out of it. Anyway, <sighs> let's go. Do you want to show everyone your fresh beard trim as well? Because I think it looks really good. It's, it's well nice, isn't it? Mm. I think this is the best your beard has ever looked. See what I mean about the camera? Like it's a convicted yeah. purple. Like a smurf, not a smurf, Barney. It's probably just gone red. Yeah. <laughs> pizza I've got Hawaiian I can't even open it oh my god how good does that look that's mine and then we've got Mitchell's to be fair I was gonna order two from that hungry that's Mitchell's we've got pepperoni and we've got fighting going for hey on oh my god how good is this I'm gonna turn off but I'm living my best life good morning sailors <laughs> that's gonna be my new intro every time I come on now it is what day is it i feel like i'm actually lost with what day it is i feel like every day just merges into one when you're on holiday it's friday it's friday oh my god we literally only have a couple more days left for the cruise i feel so sad how do you feel i don't want to leave but possibly saving the best day destination to last maybe not the best but well yeah it is the best ibiza is the best we are sailing to ibiza today um so it's a little bit of a 
hot sea day. What time Chill. do we get to Six. Ibiza? Six, seven. Six. Six, seven, we get to Ibiza. I think we're just gonna go for some food, aren't we? Some nice chilled out, sexy vibes. <laughs> sexy vibes. <laughs> Huh? Why aren't they a there literally today? is no breeze today. Oh. We've not filled you in on last night, so I probably was a little bit quiet on the vlog last night because it was Scarlet Night on the ship, which is basically just a huge party, isn't it? Like it's everywhere you look party. is a party. You have to wear red. We don't have to, but you're advised to wear red because it's like a red themed night. So we both was out in red. It's not my favourite colour to wear, if I'm honest. You don't want to just have those colours where you're like, oh. I just don't like how I look, that's how I felt. Mm. But I embraced it, we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so good, day. literally, like the whole ship turned into a party ship. But even if you're not one for like a crazy party, there's different vibes in like different rooms, isn't yeah. there? Like there was one room where it was like karaoke, one room where it was like R&B, one room where it was like live music. Yeah, like there, there's something cool. going on in every room. So we kind of just mingled through them all, didn't we? Mm. Where did we go? Oh, then ended up out near the pool area. There was a massive party there, which was a bit wild for us, wasn't it? A bit chaos. <laughs> and then we, we bumped into our friends that we've already met like a few days previous. Um, and ended up going to the club with them because we've not actually... What is the club called? The Manor. The Manor. We've not actually been there yet. Like I say, we're not like real clubby people, are we? No. We, far, we, far. we like a few drinks and a dance every now and again, but I could probably do it once or twice on a holiday. I couldn't be there every night. Because as me and Mitchell were saying, like, if you were at that club until like 3, 4 a.m., like, that mm, next day is a whole yeah. write off. And like, we want to obviously get off the ship and enjoy and explore. And it's funny because like, when you speak to people, they've obviously been out, they then just miss mm. going to the destinations. Yeah. And that for me is like, why just we're here. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, we've been there and done that, you know. Such a good night, wasn't it? And it wasn't too late either. I felt fine. I was actually drinking these like vodka spritz drinks that um, our friend like put us on. And I'm, yeah, I'm so glad I drank them because they're only like 4.5%. So it was just steady, didn't get too drunk, was on a good level, not hung over today. And also, we was back in the room for about two o'clock. Was, was it two o'clock by the time we got back to the room? Mm, we kind yeah, of left at like much, half yeah. one-ish, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Realised the pizza was open still, because the pizza place is open till 2 a.m. Went and got some pizza, got in bed with pizza. It was the best, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good pizza as well. So, oh yeah, such good pizza. Still, yeah. still don't agree with pineapple on no, pizza. No, I right? love pineapple such on a, pizza. Such a weird thing. I love it, but I like sweet and savoury. Mm. Like the pepperoni one is, but then the pineapple. How do you not, do you really like that pineapple on pizza? Not really. I love Hawaiian pizza. Strange. I like pineapple strange though. Strange taste. Who's in a pineapple under the sea? It's going to the square <laughs> Why are we like this? Anyway, let's um, sign off now because we're literally doing like a six minute ramble. Yeah, we're just chilling today. Bro. Just chilled one today. Guys, we've moved sides on the rooftop. It's so much cooler around here, it's ridiculous. It must just be the wind, don't you, you know what I mean? The wind's coming from this side, not that side. That yeah. side, there's no wind. It is so hot, like even the shade was melting. And anyone that knows me knows I do not sit in the sun. Not only just because I don't want to get wrinkles, but also, I just, it's too hot. I get so uncomfortable. I'm a shade girl, aren't I? I am now. What? I'm too hot. It was so funny, Mitchell, uh, Mitchell was looking at this guy and he was like, why am I not that tan? Like, why have I not got a tan like that? I was like, because you don't sit in it for long enough, because it's too hot. It's too hot. And I've been bit, and I've never ever get bit. I don't know where it's come from. I asked Mitchell, like, what, what bit me? <laughs> and it's so rich, yeah. It's so rich, yeah. Anyway, um, we've just ordered a watermelon frozen drink because we need to refresh. Here it is. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, the best drink. Best. How's the party last night? Yeah, good. Yeah, so good. It was crazy, wasn't it? The best drink ever. So nice. Mm. This is the first one I've had. Is it really? I'm just a beerman, isn't it? A beerman? A beerman. She just made it in time before quesadillas. Pick it up with your hands, I would. A little bit of mm, looks so good. Okay, we've just freshened up and got ready because we want to. We want to be ready tonight, don't we? We want to be out indoors as soon as we dock and get to Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, bit of an early one. I think. What's the time? Is it like six-ish? It is six o'clock. Six o'clock exactly. Six o'clock exactly. Let me show you my new um, phone screen. So yeah, six o'clock exactly. 
we've just come down to our favourite little bar, Dock House. I love this bar. It's just, it's quiet, it's chill vibes, it's nice. We love the decor, it's very like boho. Um, and they also do, as I said yesterday, the Greek little platters, like Greek meze from 4.30 to 6 or 4 to 6. Oh, 4 to 6. Oh, oh that's a half 4 to half 6. Um, and I just, I'm a bit peckish to those of you. We've not had loads. No. We only had the enchiladas. I've only had enchiladas and. No, no, we had a small bread. Not enchiladas, quesadillas, and I didn't even have breakfast. So, yeah, I'm just packaged. We're not going to be eating probably for another couple of hours anyway. So, yeah, let me show you what we got today. So, I've gone for the <laughs> lamb skewers, and I think this is called the da -da -da, Greek Bites. So, that's the top one. Looks delicious, smells delicious. I'm gonna tuck in. Oh my god, I've also had a mojito tonight. Why have I not had a mojito this whole holiday? I've had one actually when we was in Mallorca, but you, yeah, you, it's just you do love a mojito. It's the most refreshing drink ever. And don't get me wrong, I love a frozen strawberry decorator, but the brain freeze it's given me, guys, it's not good. It's not good, like my brain. It, yeah, what did it, you say earlier? You're waiting for the drink to cool down, <laughs> yeah. Do you like milk? It does make sense, anyway. I'm gonna tuck in because I'm hungry. Yeah. We're in a beaver. Although we're not seeing David Guetta tonight, we could be. I just love David Guetta. Um, I have, but the lighting's really rubbish. I think the sun's this way. I'm so excited to be in my beef. And I'm actually wearing the first outfit that I ever wore in Ibiza with Mitchell on holiday. It's honestly, it's amazing. It's just meant to be. I had to shed a tear. I know, now I'm, now I'm here engaged in Ibiza. Like, I feel like Ibiza is such a special place to me anyway, but more the fact that it was our first holiday. We're now back and I'm a fiance. Shut up, we're not even married yet. So yeah, it's a really exciting time. Actually, I say it's really exciting. Sorry, I'm trying to like put you down here so you can see. Um, we just googled the restaurant we wanted to go to that we came last Don't time we was here. Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell everyone what happened? It's shut down. It shut down. It oh, it was the best food Fanny and ever. Fanny and the exit shuttle bus. What? I think you have to get a shuttle bus, don't you? No, we'll have a look. Have we'll bus. have a look what's going on with the shuttle bus. Where does the shuttle bus take us? That's a bit better, isn't it? Where does the shuttle bus take us? I don't know, we'll soon find out. Okay, so, then. yeah, anyway, now we're just going to have to go to Ibiza Town. We could go to Mambo's and watch Sunset. Mambo's? Mambo's, Cafe Mambo in um, San Antonio. It's miles away. Yeah, I know it is, and it's really expensive and overpriced. Well, I say overpriced, it is what it is for a sunset yeah. drink, isn't it? You have to pay what you got to pay, oh, haven't you? But you know, we're on a saving mission yes. at the moment. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Goodbye. Because this light is really dreadful. See you in the old Ciao. town. Ciao, adios. See you in Ibiza. Well, we are in Ibiza, but you're in. Guys, we're in Ibiza. I've got friends that really want to meet you. So, the shuttle bus actually just took you like on a five minute drive just so it can drop you off right in the centre so it wasn't all bad. We didn't know where we were going. We literally just got on the bus and was hoping for the best. But we're in Ibiza town. Favourite place ever. It's honestly so cute it's yeah it's just my favorite place it's just really really pretty the sky we are back at our favorite place ever aren't we yeah but i'm still annoyed why not what are you annoyed about Chinese I know, I can't believe the Chinese is closed down. But some new additions since we've last been here. Skinny Kitchen and also there's a bar that's taken over the Chinese. I mean, it's not Chinese. No. Yeah, I know. But we are back at, uh, it's called the Fusion Restaurant. We came here before, didn't we, for drinks? It was so nice. Yeah, and it's too cool. I just think the Fugger is so nice. Like, obviously, Kodan Bus is down the road, but it's, it's. I'd say it's nicer sitting here. Did we, did we walk all this? Yeah, right. yeah, we did. And then we started getting a taxi. Oh no, did we just walk? I don't really know, I can't remember. We walked to the old town, didn't we, from our own town? <laughs> yeah, that was on the day thing, that was last. It's really warm. It no, but don't you think this? I feel like it's nicer sitting here for food than Pale and Buster. Mm. Because not everywhere's on the beach in Pale and Buster, no, is it? There's only that one place right. that we went to, and also it's much cheaper. Like, how much is happy hour? Oh. Six euros each. Like, that's cheap for a cocktail. Oh. I thought, it was, I thought it was cheap when I seen it. 
I see what you're saying. You ain't gonna pay for your or each or a cocktail, are you? I would. Okay, so we just took a little walk um, on the seafront of Figueretes. We was actually gonna go play in Mossa. We went to a really nice restaurant and played in Mossa called, oh my goodness, my mind has gone blank. Oh, let me have a look. I did type it in in my Google Maps. Just remembered, mum back. Um, it basically has a mixture of everything. I think Mitchell had jerk chicken the last time we was there. I had pad thai, they, they honestly do everything. And the food is unreal, it's right on the beachfront. I feel like we're playing in Bossa. There's not many restaurants on the beachfront. Um, so if you're looking for a nice restaurant in playing in Bossa, really, really, wait, one second, my camera. Is that, can you see that, guys? I don't think you can. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're looking for a really good restaurant recommendation in playing in Bossa, then definitely, definitely go there, because it's so good. So it was kind of like, um, should we just go walk in and see where it takes us? Like, see if there's anything close up, but if not, we'll walk there. Mind you, I say walk then, which was got really bad blisters, so you probably wasn't gonna walk there. Um, but anyway, we'd already like had a little look. We didn't ever see this restaurant on the maps. Come past it, looked absolutely stunning. Had a look at the menu and on the reviews, and again, really, really good. So we've stopped in here, it's called Horizon Ibiza, Mediterranean. We've, we've gone for paella, because obviously we're in Spain. I absolutely love paella. And do you know what? I'm really sure that Mitchell's wanting to go for it as well, because it's normally like two person minimum. Um, and normally he's just like a steak guy or a burger, but he was like, no, should we get paella? Because we're having, I think it's the seafood paella we're having. So I'm really, really excited, because I love paella. And um, for starter, we've got bread, alioli, oh my goodness, olives, and also we've got some croquettes. So yeah, sounds amazing. Reviews are really good as well. We're on the beachfront, we're in Ibiza. I'm honestly so happy. <sighs> Here's my fiance. Oh my God, the okay. paella looks massive. Really? <laughs> it is for two people. No, no, it's two. I know. It's, it's like I was just saying to the like vlog, this. So I was just saying to the vlog though, like I'm so happy that you've agreed to have paella because I feel like normally you're either a steak guy or a burger meat. guy. I've had too much meat this other day. And too many burgers. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just so we're meat having meat. paella. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited for paella. And you're having a nice beer as well, aren't you, honey? Babe, like, can, you, can you believe that you're going to be my husband? Like, I've Babe, not had many pies. You, you're going to be my husband. <laughs> just carry on. It's so funny because I'm like so excited. I keep going like this with my ring and stuff, and Mitch is like, carry on, I'm taking off. Like, you, you've had your moment. No, it's a How moment. How's it gonna go on for? I'm probably like a mum, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I keep going like this. Every photo I keep taking, I'm like, oh, and then I keep taking a video as well. I'm like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm going to tell them in a minute. It's like this morning you had like salmon, avocado, <laughs> bagel, and, and then you, you take the photo of the ring with the salmon and, the, and bagel. Like, what? It's not I'm engaged. Can you believe it? I'm actually engaged. Someone actually wants to put up with me for the rest of their life. Don't. <laughs> I don't worry. Unlucky for some, 21. <laughs> That's a thing, isn't it? Unlucky for some, 20, number 28. Oh, number 28, you've got it. <laughs> 88. Oh, is that what it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I've been smoking 40 fags because I've still got this chest you infection. Need, you need to pack it. From Santa, I don't smoke. Oh, anyway, guys, living life. Got a sparky ring on my oh, finger. Oh, Lives the love of my life. My future husband, Mrs. Donnelly, here, over and out. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ain't that weird? I'm going to be Mrs. Donnelly. I think I'm going to be Mrs. Meacham Donnelly. Or you could be Mr. Meacham. That's not how it works. What? I just, just, there's no rule book to it, is there? Anyway, I'm loving life. Woof, 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 woof. We're in Ibiza, Miami to Ibiza. Dun, 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 dun. We could, oh my god, just had an idea. <laughs> Rather than paying 100 euros for David Gressler. Why don't we go and stand outside of Pyre Beef when David Gret is on and we can probably hear him? That's amazing. <laughs> Do you actually want it? <laughs> what have you got to say to the vlog about like the craze and everything? So I feel like you really say much. It went well. Why? I smashed it, you didn't have a fucking clue. <laughs> what else? It was a beautiful moment. You happy? Yeah. You happy I said yes? Yes. I didn't even say yes, you know. Oh. It's smelly man there, isn't it? I think it's your fart. She's been farting like that all day. <laughs> all day? Yeah. All week? Okay, right. Over and out, guys. I'll show you the food when it comes. Loving life. I beef up 2k. 24. 23. 
We're getting married in 2025, by the way. If anyone wants to come to the wedding, let me know in the description box in the comments box below. I'm such a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Live long and prosper. Yeah, man. <laughs> Get in it then. Get in it. 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 Get in Get in Get in Hey, sing man. Go. Can we just, um, can we just concentrate on our fucking food? The food was absolutely 10 10. Don't think we could have picked anywhere better for an engagement reader, if I'm very honest. What about you? Well, you're, I don't think you've ever scored a meal at 10 10. I, I, I don't know if it's just because I'm engaged, you know, but it was amazing. Sensation. Wasn't it? Now, I don't know how you could score it at 9.7. Tell me what was wrong with it. I just tend to, I don't know. That it was a 10 for me. The view, the location, the service, everything. Mm. And then I've also Sangria. got this beautiful rock on my finger. Sangria was amazing. Yeah. I had an apple in. Nice. Okay, we're going to get the bus back now. Hopefully we're in the right place. Are we in the right place, babe? Yeah. Hey, it's actually so funny. Everyone's coming out and we're going in. <laughs> babe. That. Isn't that of, true? I couldn't think of anything better. We are just rolling look, is in. This, this is the bus, look. Oh, yeah. We are just going in. Everyone's coming out because we're going to David Wessel. I'm ready for bed. I'm ready to put 30 and go on 30 on and watch you for the second time of the holiday. Ooh. Look, oh, oh my god. Can, can we go to the, 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 get a cake popsicle so I can take it to bed? You can do whatever I'm Yay! Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Guys, it is our last. Day, it's our last day. Mm. I actually can't believe it's our last day. Why do holidays go so quick? Anyway, we have just woken up in Ibiza. Obviously, we did get here last night, and as you just saw, we did go out. How nice was last night? Yeah, unreal. Like the food. If you were ever in that area in Ibiza, I could so. not recommend it enough. Like it was some of the best food I think I've ever actually had on a holiday. It was so tasty, so fresh. Nice view, nice surroundings. Yeah, really, really recommend. Um, so I'm glad we had a nice, quiet one. I think everyone on the whole ship was going to David Guetta at High last night, and. I had obviously debated it before we like came out to Ibiza, but if I'm honest, the feedback wasn't great. Um, a lot of people just, like I've said already, it's just rammed, you can't move. I don't think the atmosphere is the same as Ushuaia. So yeah, anyway, we just thought, let's just have a nice engagement meal. And I'm so glad we did, it was in bed. I was gonna say feeling fresh, but you know what? My chest last night was so bad. As you guys know, I've been suffering with like this chest infection. I don't really know, since May. Um, I've had antibiotics, had steroids, nothing's really clearing it up. And last night I got in bed and I was struggling to breathe. Like my ch I was just so wheezy. I was like gasping for like an inhaler or something. Um, I was gonna sleep on the balcony at one point, but anyway, I'm feeling better now. I think we're gonna go and quickly grab, but we're gonna get a coffee. Yes. Um, gonna go to the galley, grab a coffee, maybe a bit of breakfast, and then just get the shuttle back into Ibiza town, have a little mooch really. We have gotta be back on the boat for four. So, I mean, I know that doesn't sound like really early but you don't ever want to miss the boat do you could you imagine no, no, I wouldn't. You, you wouldn't really want to leave it that late so we just thought i don't know we were thinking oh what could we do should we get a over? should we do this we've been ibiza like we've done that um and like i say it's just like a stopping passing visit so i think we're just going to go into ibiza town have a mooch around because Ibiza town's beautiful. Um maybe stop and have a little drink there i don't know what we're doing just mooching just around Warm again. <laughs> it is hot. Outfit of the day. Anyway, let's go and get a coffee because I'm craving that iced latte. We're at Mitchell's favourite toasty spot. So, <laughs> what you're having for breakfast nowadays, isn't it? Toasty. I've Toasties. gone for a croissant. I don't really know what's got in cheese, bacon, cheese and bacon, and coffee. Posh turnover from Greg's. Mmm, looks nice. So nice. Greg's. Yeah, <laughs> nice. 
and there's Toasty Station. It's a place to be. You're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow. But who? How warm is it? It's absolutely roasting. <laughs> it's so hot. Do you know what? We can never win, can we? We moan when it's cold, moan when it's hot. <laughs> it's just. It's yeah. just about getting the happy medium, it's isn't it? It's probably about 21 degrees. Mm, yeah, I think that's a nice temperature. Anyway, we're in Paid and Buster now. <laughs> Sorry, someone just fell over. It wasn't actually that funny. Um, anyway, we're in Paid and Buster. Just walking down the main strip bit. We did walk along the beach, but Mitchell over here. It's got train the train is on. on. So it it's wasn't seaweed, wasn't it? Yeah, like the beach is normally so nice in Buster. Um, why have I got soaked all of a sudden? Um, yeah, it's normally really nice, but there's so much seaweed down there. There loads. It just didn't look nice at all, to be honest with you, so... Oh yeah, Stimulus. anyway, we've just had a nice drink at Mumbak, which Mumbak. is a... Is that what it's called, Mumbak? Which is a restaurant that we went to, again, when we were in Ibiza ago. three years ago. So yeah, nice. Really nice place, isn't it? Mm. Food's really good if you want somewhere nice in Basta. Yeah, that is a good place. Isn't it? My jerk chicken was... Oh yeah, insane. you had jerk chicken, I had pad thai. Um, so. Yeah, so good. Anyway, we're now just walking back to Pabby Town. Probably gonna have a little mooch around there for a half hour. Stop off for another drink somewhere. Yeah, that sounds a nice plan. What about some bread and alioli? Mm. <laughs> and some olives. Oh my god, how nice some olives last night. Right? Anyway, over and out. Mitchell is in his element because we found the arcade place, and obviously he can play everything for free. How amazing! It's good, isn't it? Yeah. How good is it? Ooh. What are you playing on now? Mario? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shall I leave you here? Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. You're a bit older than me though, aren't you? Guys, how nice do these cakes look? It's like the cake part. I feel like that's a Rice Krispie thing. I'm really craving some sugar. And? How have I just discovered that they do ice matches on the last day? I'm so, I'm really happy and this is sensational. Oh, football on, you can spend your time in here then. This is where we're spending time. Let's have a look. Okay guys, we are back to the room now. I have just discovered, and I'm actually really sad I've just discovered this on the last day, that downstairs in the coffee bar, they do matcha. They don't do the matcha in the upstairs coffee bar. Yeah. They do matcha and they also do an ice matcha with vanilla. Honestly, I'd have been there every day, absolutely every day. And it's sensational as well. Don't always get matches right. So that's me. I might even go and get another one <laughs> just because I'm happy. And then also, it's like a little, it's almost like an American diner place on the ship and they have like arcades next to it, games. They do cakes. And I mean, Mitchell over here is not really a sugar cake kind of guy. I am. Um, I've not had a dessert or holiday, to be honest with you, and this looked sensational. It's like a rice crispy. Sorry, I'm showing you all the mess here. Here we go. <laughs> um, let me let me get you in the light here. It's like a rice crispy thing with white chocolate underneath. They do cake um, pops as well. I think I need to try on them later. Sensational, absolutely sensational. This has cured my sugar cravings. We are still in Ibiza. I think it's last orders for the shuttle bus now, isn't it, babe? What time was everyone allowed to get the last shuttle bus? Last bus is in about 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I don't know what time we're docking, but this is the last destination. How sad. I feel really sad actually, don't you? Bit rubbish, isn't it? Mm. But anyway, we're going to the spa soon and then we've got Gumbe tonight. Mm. Wake up at your place. Wake up at mine. Same question always. Okay, so we've done an hour in the spa. Nice and refreshed now, Bob. Yeah. Probably should, yeah, we did the sauna, salt room. Salt room actually said it helps chest infection, which I was like, oh, let's try that. But I don't really know if it was doing it. I don't know what it was doing. Like, 
like it was a weird one but anyway we'll see how i am i just feels all right at the moment anyway we're at the duck house now our favorite place when the sun's setting it's so beautiful i can't believe this is our last our last evening our last evening in the sun look how beautiful it is oh yeah i know but joe on the boat Anyway, we just ordered this picture of Sangria. How good does this look? At the dock house. We just ordered it some little tapas again. I mean, what more could you want in life right now? Well, I could do the drink of Sangria. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Guys, we've just come back to the room. How cute is this? We've just got a little note from the Virgin Voyage influencer team. And look, some merry champagne for our engagement. How cute. Oh, that's so nice of them, isn't it, babe? Yeah. How thoughtful. Should I crack it open? Yeah, I think you need to pop it open. I don't know how well you can see the sunset, but wow. Look at the sunset tonight. Our final night. I feel like we're not normally in the room this late, so we never really get to see the sunset like this, but it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, tonight is the hair up night, so I really can't remember to wash my hair. We're going to Gum to Gumbe. Gumbe? Gumbe, it's like Korea. So I'm really excited for that. I feel like we've not had any kind of food like that. Yeah, yet, I, don't have you? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to expect, but yeah. Anyway, let's hurry up. So we just no, come down. Down. We just come down to the sunset. How nice is it? Probably the best one we've seen. I, I actually think it is the best sunset we've seen. I mean, it was absolutely stunning. It went so quick. I was like, quickly take a photo of me, and then I was going to get like a little real thing, and then boom, already gone. It goes down well quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Got a mojito. I feel like this is the easiest drink to ever drink, isn't it? Well, mitchell has got champagne lighters. This is why I don't drink um, probably. Yeah, I don't drink all cups. Cheers for last night. And just like that guys, it's over. Literally. Can you believe it's been a week on the ship and we've just docked back into Barcelona and that's it, it's over like that. It goes so quick. I always feel like a week goes really quick though, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes two weeks, not that it can drag, but like, I don't know. 10 days I feel like it's just perfect. Seven days goes too quick, mm. in my opinion. Um, we've got another day though. I'm, do you know what? I'm actually really, really glad that we did book on for another day in Barcelona because I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I felt a bit rushed today, wouldn't you? Mm. Just going straight at home and I don't know, I feel like I need a day just to get over it. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the view currently back in Barcelona. It looks absolutely unreal. It's about 7.45, so we've just had the sunset, sunset, sunrise, <laughs> even. Looks so, so nice. I feel like there's a bit of a military operation going on now, getting everything off the ship, getting everything back on. But yeah, anyway, sad times. We're off home, well, not off home. We're gonna go to Barcelona. We've got a night stay. I think it's actually quite close to where we are now. Yeah, where is it going? Mm. That's where we need to get a taxi to. Summerlooking.com. So yeah, we're gonna get a taxi there, drop our cases, obviously we won't be able to check in until three o'clock, and then go and have a little mooch on Barcelona. So that'll be nice, won't it? At least we can have a little explore, yeah. another city, get some nice food tonight, and then we are flying back at 10, 10 o'clock tomorrow. tomorrow. So yeah, bittersweet. It's always nice to get home. Yeah, that's um, work. But I just can't believe how fast it's gone at the same time, can you? It's just all of a sudden ended, isn't it? Mm. All of a sudden just gone. I actually, I actually feel gutted, like I feel really sad. Even though I am such a home girl and I love getting home to my cats. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Don't know. Anyway, over and out. Ciao for now.